everybody, it's Lori Winders, the Cooking Diva, and today I'm going to teach you how to make ghee. That's G-H-E-E, -E, and really all it is is clarified butter. Um, it's used in a lot of Indian cooking, but you clarify it for a long time, and then all the milk solids go to the bottom of your pan, and you have a beautiful golden oil that, that is floating on the top, and you skim that part out, and then after it sits for a while, it will solidify and becomes a great base for your cooking, a great cooking oil. And what's so cool about it is it still has that wonderful butter taste. It doesn't need refrigeration because you've gotten milk solids out of it. And most people who have um, food allergies to dairy are still able to use ghee because the milk solids are the part that they normally have problems with. And we're gonna get rid of that part and we're gonna be left just with the oil. So I'm gonna show you today how to do that. In my yeast-free cooking manual, I actually have a recipe for it, but it's for the stove top. It takes about 45 minutes and you really have to be there a lot to look over it. Um, and I don't have 45 minutes to spend in the kitchen a lot of times, and you can usually only make about a pound of butter at a time. I'm going to show you my foolproof way though that I love um, that you can make much more ghee at one time and it takes about two hours but you pop it in the oven and you come back and check on it later. So that's the way I'm going to show you today. First we're going to start with a cast iron skillet and this is a great way to season your cast iron skillet, um, especially if you have a new one. And we're going to put, I'm going to use eight sticks of butter, which would be two pounds of butter for, um, I guess it's probably a medium to large cast iron skillet. And we're just going to unwrap all of our butters and put them right in the pan. Okay, we've got all eight of our sticks of butter in the cast iron skillet. Now, I preheated my oven to 250. You wanna um, keep it kinda low. Don't go any higher than 250. And we're gonna stick the cast iron skillet in there. And this is the beautiful part. We're gonna set it for two hours and we can go about our business and do something else. Okay, we're back, our two hours are up, so let's check and see what our ghee looks like. And be very careful because this pan is gonna be very hot. You can kind of see a little crust that's on top and then you probably can't see this but we'll pan in in just a second and on the bottom you can see that there's just this layer of white and that's where all the milk solids have gone to the bottom and then underneath that you are you know in between the crust and the white you can see just this beautiful golden liquid okay now that we've got the ghee out we're going to get everything ready to um, to get the parts that we don't want and leave them in the pan and get the good parts into our jar. Um, I'm going to use cheesecloth, just regular pack of cheesecloth that you can get. I'm just going to cut it and I'm using a um, just a mason jar and a strainer and I found a strainer that kind of fits down in there pretty well. So I'm going to just cut this down a little bit more to smaller sizes than what we have. And we want to have a lot of layers of cheesecloth in here so that none of those milk solids get into our final product because the milk solids are what will um, go bad and we don't want that. Okay, so <clears throat> if you can see in my strainer, I've got it very well covered. And we're going to slide it over here. Let's do it where I can kind of get my hands on it. And we're going to take our scoop, and I've just kind of moved some of this crusty out of the way, but I don't want to disturb that white on the bottom, okay? And I'm going to gently dip in and get a ladle of the ghee. And as you can see, it's draining down into the jar. You see that? And it's catching any solids into my cheesecloth. It's a little bit of a slow process doing this. Once you kind of get your ghee down a little bit more, you can very gently pour it from your pan, but this pan is so hot, I don't want to pick it up right now. But you see that beautiful golden yellow oil that you have, and it is so fantastic tasting. And so you just do that until you finish. And then, like the ghee that I showed you earlier that had become solid, 
after it comes to room temperature, it's going to solidify and you can keep it in your cabinet. Uh, you can keep it in a jar by your stove like I do, so you can just scoop some out when you need it. And um, I hope you have learned a lot and go make some ghee. It is absolutely fantastic.